Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To my day ones, twos, and threes, thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair accuse is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep. Because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all? So, let's get to it, y'all. Get Let's get to it. Um, reports are coming out that little baby. Y'all know the sandwich man. The one that likes to be the meat in the middle. Okay, y'all? Um, he was just arrested. They said he was arrested... Um, for possession of illegal weapons without a permit, y'all. So, I don't think this is real serious because it's not saying that he is a convicted felon and all of that other stuff. Now, I don't know if he is, so I'm just saying. But, it didn't, it really didn't, um, mention it, okay? Um, 6.36 a.m. What is he doing out at 6.36 in the morning. Oh, Y'all, okay. Whatever. Lil Baby's attorney, Drew Finling and David Chesnoff, to be clear, this is what he said. Um, Dominique Jones has a valid Georgia carrying uh, concealed weapon permit. Okay, so he already have a, a, a concealed carry. He already have a um, permit. But I guess he only have it in a certain city and state. Um... On behalf, we are actively investigating the facts and circumstances surrounding his arrest in Las Vegas. So, he probably wasn't supposed to have it there. See, a lot of these celebrities, they don't be knowing that, you know, just because you got concealed in one city and state, that don't mean you can travel somewhere else with it. But you would think that they would know stuff like this. It doesn't make any sense. Um, Lil Baby landed behind bars Monday in Las Vegas. Because he got busted for possession of an illegal weapon. The rapper was arrested Monday night for carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, a felony, and hauled off to the Clark County Detention Center where he was being held on $5,000 bail. I told y'all it wasn't that serious. This ain't even serious. But it's a paper trail that's starting to follow a lot of these, these rappers and celebrities. So, even though it's not that serious, it's still, you know, it kind of stays with you. A lot of these things that's going on with them. The Las Vegas uh, Metropolitan Police have yet to release any details about the alleged crime. But, they're, if, you know, they're saying they'll update people as stuff come up. By the way, Lil Baby has been the inside, has seen the inside of a jail cell before. Okay, so he, he must have had some type of record. I'm just saying. Well, if you think about the company that he keeps, I mean, just think about it. He's always with CMG members and stuff like that. So, he ain't all that is innocent. Okay, y'all? Um, in 2019, he was cuffed in Atlanta for failure to signal. So, it's not nothing major. Excluding, um, eluding police and reckless driving. Two years later, baby was arrested in Paris, France for... Um, after the police caught him with, you know, some trees in the car. So, he he still don't have anything major. Now, the 2019 alluding the police, so he was trying to get away from the police, okay? And little stupid stuff, failure to signal, seemed like they, it seemed like that was a little nitpicking right there. Just failure to signal and, you know, a lot of people get in front of you and just jump in a lane without signaling and stuff like that. So it could be one of those cases that they be picking on celebrities because they in nice cars or this and that and that and this. That could be that case when they pull him over and all of that. Because not, nothing seemed major. It ain't like he is hardcore like the other rappers that have taken lives or dropping bags and this and that and that and this. Now, although I like I keep telling y'all he's still in that inner circle of a lot of, you know, 
dimensionable people. But I'm going to say this. Um, he also is in that elite circle as well. So uh, not too much is probably going to be done about him unless he get a whole trail of a bunch, a bunch of stuff. But he was arrested. And nine times out of ten, you know, he probably wasn't even there an hour. $5,000 bond. He might have had that in his pocket. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying, but he did get arrested today. Um, so the sandwich is still secure when he get back to the white party, you know. Although, they're saying that lunch meat now is not good for you. So maybe he still ain't ripe yet. I'm just saying, y'all. He might still not be good for you. Because he's the meat in the sandwich. I'm just saying, y'all. Okay. Um, but nothing major. Everybody, you know, I woke up this morning and everybody's reporting on this. I mean, everybody, TMZ, the source, everybody, like, it was something major, major, major. Um, just $5,000 bond lets you know that, um, it wasn't too much of nothing. These celebrities, a lot of them is going to protect themselves. When they go from different cities, it's one thing to have security, and hope that they have your back. Think about Biggie and all the people that when he really needed them. And Tupac when they really needed people. Um, security let them down. I want y'all to think about that. It's a lot of these celebrities that even though they seem lame and this and that and this. A lot of them stay with that heat on them. Because they don't really trust the next man to protect them. They trust their own self to protect them. I'm just saying y'all. So when it comes down to stuff like that. I can't really feel, you know, really feel bad, say something bad about it. Because you talk about somebody that's worth millions. They're worth millions of dollars. And a lot of them have web, you know, they have um, weapons on them. And they keep weapons on them because they want to protect themselves. A lot of them. Not saying that is, you know, right or anything. But at the same time, self-defense, $8 million. This is an eight million dollar man. He hang out with the wrong crowd of people, so that alone would get him, or make him a target, just from the people that he be with. CMG now members is under attack pretty much. Whenever they get caught, you know, slipping, they're going to get caught. They're gonna get caught lacking out here, and anybody that you know is around them or hang with them is gonna be the same situation. So he has to. You know, but he has to protect himself legally because if not, he's going to keep getting arrested. But he got to also see what other laws and stuff is stating about um, carrying weapons to other cities and states and stuff like that before you just be out here, out here. But at the same time, a lot of people feel I'd rather get caught with it than without it. Some people would rather take the chances of, you know, the police pulling them over and then, um, this, this is how some people feel. Then getting caught out here with some ninjas out here and they take their life. So, you know, it's a cold game, but at the same time, you got to stay out of trouble. This is why I tell y'all it's so important, um, when you're teenagers and growing up, keep your record clear of any mess. Because if you keep your record clear as a youngster, when you get older, you can go and get you concealed stuff and be able to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying, y'all? But if you get in trouble, that stuff going to follow you till you're an adult. And then when you get a family, you're not going to be able to protect your family legally. And the goal is to do things legally. Okay, y'all? So, you know, try to, you know, put this in your teenager's head that's out here running the streets thinking that it's all gravy. Because it catches up with you when you're young. And you get in your, your, your 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s. And you can go to jail for trying to protect yourself. And even though, even if you live by yourself and this and that and that and this, this is how the laws are. You get in any trouble when you're younger. That could stick all the way till you get, you know, way up in age. So y'all be careful out here. And try your best not to, you know, I ain't talking to, you know, my subscribers that's older. But I'm just, this is just a warning to the teenagers that's out here thinking it's sweet out here. They can run around and do whatever they want. This will follow you when you get older. I promise y'all will. 
And it's nothing nice that you can't just, you know, go out, enjoy yourself without looking over your shoulder that you might get pulled over or searched or this and that and this. And you got something on you not to harm anybody, but to protect yourself in case somebody try to harm you. But this, it is what it is. You have to follow the rules. You just do. But this was nothing serious. I wanted to just jump on here and let everybody know. It wasn't nothing serious, but it still happened. Okay, y'all? Anyway, they're getting a serious paper trail on all of these rappers from city to city to state to state. I'm just saying, y'all. And a lot of these different cities and states are starting to work with each other. Just like people was working with um together from different, you know, st cities and city, state to state. A lot of people is working together right now for this Fulio case. So, you know, some city and states that won't do their job. They'll work with them feds when it comes to, the, you know, they people then ventured out to other cities and states. They'll work with them feds to get you then. But as long as they in their city and state, they don't really care. Just let them run wild. So it's it's like a double standard. They'll try to pretend like they're doing some work then. Oh, we'll work with y'all to, to put them in hair bars, you know, when they wanted the people that took out F Fulio. But I want y'all to think about the fact that they could have been had these boys off the streets. They could have saved some of their lives, their family members' lives, but they didn't. They let they let them in and out, in and out, in and out. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. It is hot as pine pepper outside, but enjoy your day. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Please try to watch some of the commercials. It helps the page. Okay, y'all? Peace.